Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you another Fold 3 case, and this one finally just came in. I ordered a pre-order, finally came in right now, the Spigen Neo Hybrid S. Now this was the best Spigen case that was available at pre-order time. They have since added one with an S Pen. If you want me to check that one out, please let me know in the comment section and I will consider ordering that today and seeing if that one is better than this one. Now, what I liked about this one is it does have a built-in kickstand. So I really like that idea. Having a built-in kickstand is one of the things that I look for. The second thing is where can I put my S Pen holder that I've shown off in previous videos. So let's go ahead and check this out. And I do want to give a shout out to Spigen because when you did pre-order it, they did give you a free 45 watt charger if you ordered it from their website. So although I'm always at odds with some people that love Spigen, that is a really good best practice that I could definitely get behind and recommend to everyone. All right, so there it is on. And yeah, it is a pretty nice looking case. This one fits very well, which is better than the experience I had with the Flip 3, if you guys saw that video. Flip 3 case did not fit well, and I was very disappointed with that one. So yeah, very curious why I would have had like a push button scenario with the kickstand. However, how they do it is just simply opening up and then pushing on there. And then this is the idea with the kickstand that you have it out like this and then bam, good angle to view at very simple and easy. And overall, very nice. It is plasticky. I will say um, the kickstand itself. So I'm used to metal kickstands, but I will say I like the kickstand for the fact of, because it is plastic, it should still wirelessly charge okay. So that is very important. Um, but yeah, overall, I like the design. I'm not sure how I feel about these corners kind of giving um, to open and wrap around it. Don't know why that was necessary. Why couldn't they just fit it all the way? As you could see, there are plenty of sticky items which have come up with this there are plenty of sticky items that have come up with this and again these are sticky parts to put inside the case so that it will stick well luckily unlike the flip 3 version this was all put in uh Luckily, unlike the Flip 3 version, this one was all put in right away so I didn't have to do anything in order for it. These are just extra. So, nice a lot when it comes to that. But yeah, I will say as a case, this is a really good one to go with. I don't have too many complaints about it. The grip is good and easy to open. Probably in the top three of cases that I've uh, seen. So grip is good. It does feel plasticky on the back, so just know that going in, but that is because it allows you to keep your wireless charging and you have your kickstand and there you have it. I really like this. So I will say the main thing I would add to this case is an S Pen holder and the rinky one would go perfectly right here. The pro case version is too big and if you don't know what these are, check out our other videos. Uh, but this would make it perfect as it will have a built-in kickstand and now an S Pen holder for everything I need. So I'm gonna test drive this one for about a couple of days. And again, I will let you know how I like it and very much interested in this one. I have not daily drove a Spigen case and I don't know how long. So if Spigen really made one that is gonna be a wow factor for me, which this one looking like it is, I might have to stick with it. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you so much again for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Also, follow us on social media at YouTube Tech Guy. And check out some more great tech videos on your screen right now.